In mathematics, in the area of complex analysis, Nachman's theorem is commonly used to establish a bound on the growth rates for an analytic function. This article will provide a brief review of growth rates, including the idea of a function of exponential type. Classification of growth rates based on type help provide a finer tool than big O or Landau notation. Since a number of theorems about the analytic structure of the bounded function and its integral transforms can be stated, in particular, Nachbin's theorem may be used to give the domain of convergence of the generalized Borel transform, given below. Exponential type A function f defined on the complex plane is said to be of exponential type if there exist constants m and tau such that in the limitive, here, the complex variable z was written as to emphasize that the limit must hold in all directions theta, letting tau stand for the infimum of all such tau. One then says that the function f is of exponential type tau, for example, let. Then one says that is of exponential type pi, since pi is the smallest number that bounds the growth of along the imaginary axis. So, for this example, Carlson's theorem cannot apply, as it requires functions of exponential type less than pi. Psi type. Bounding may be defined for other functions besides the exponential function. In general, a function is a comparison function if it has a series with for all n, and comparison functions are necessarily entire, which follows from the ratio test. If is such a comparison function, one then says that f is of psi type if there exist constants m and tau such that is. If tau is the infimum of all such tau one says that f is of psi type tau. Nachman's theorem states that a function f with the series is of psi type tau if and only if Borel transform. Nachman's theorem has immediate applications in Cauchy theorem-like situations, and for integral transforms. For example, the generalized Borel transform is given by if f is of psi type tau, then the exterior of the domain of convergence of, and all of its singular points, are contained within the disk. Furthermore, one has where the contour of integration gamma encircles the disk. This generalizes the usual Borel transform for exponential type, where, the integral form for the generalized Borel transform follows as well. Let be a function whose first derivative is bounded on the interval, so that where, then the integral form of the generalized Borel transform is the ordinary Borel transform is regained by setting. Note that the integral form of the Borel transform is just the Laplace transform. Nachbin resummation. Nachbin resummation can be used to sum divergent series that escape to the usual Borel summation or even to solve integral equations of the form, where f may or may not be of exponential growth and the kernel k has a Malin transform. The solution, pointed out by L. Nachbin himself, can be obtained as with an M as the Malin transform of k. An example of this is the Gram series Fréchet space.